Good morning uh, once again uh, brothers and sisters. I'm so glad that we managed to meet again today. Um, having our daily devotion and our daily devotion today is going to come to one of the familiar uh, scriptures. Most of us we know this scripture. Uh, Second, Corinth, uh, Second Timothy chapter, chapter 3 uh, verse 15 and 16. Verse 16 says, And how from infants you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scriptures is God's breath and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Here, Paul is writing a letter to Timothy. Uh, Timothy being his son in the Lord. And if we can read the scriptures well, we see that um, Timothy was very young and for being uh, the minister of the word, for being the leader of the church, uh, who preached the word and being also young in age, uh, he wanted also a mentor. He wanted also someone who could teach him uh, how to handle uh, the church, how to lead the, the Christian community. So by so doing, Paul uh, ended up being Timothy's uh, father in the Lord and that's why you see most uh, some of these scriptures, some of these letters were written to uh, to Timothy, especially first and second Timothy. Uh, they were written uh, to Timothy uh, just to encourage him as he, he, he works uh, in the ministry. So in in chapter three, uh, verse sixteen, he, he, uh, Paul is now writing his final uh, words to Timothy and encouraging him. But the, the, the greatest part that I really uh, like is Paul emphasized much on the word, emphasized much on the scriptures. That uh, although uh, before uh, Paul was writing about uh, a lot of things that Timothy has to be aware of, in, 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 uh, in two letters that he wrote to Timothy, he talks about dealing with false uh, teachers. He talks about uh, the end of uh, the world, how everything is going to, to happen. And uh, he also talks about being loyal. And uh, he talks about being renewed and also being exemplary. He talks about a lot of things in these two letters. But as at the end now, he, he said, now, in everything that you do in the ministry, in everything that you do as the minister of the word, as a Christian, as a child of God, remember this, that um, we have learned scriptures from infantry and also you have uh, acquired um, wisdom for salvation through Jesus Christ. But what I want you, Timothy, to know is Whenever you are reading scriptures, you should know that every scripture, every word that you are going to read, whether it's an Old Testament scripture or it's a New Testament scripture, what I want you to know and what I want you to put in mind is all scriptures are God's breath. All scriptures, they've been written, they've been inspired by God. All scriptures, they have, they, uh, have God, uh, Godly influence. So you have to bear in mind that whenever you want to do something whenever you want to do with issues in the church. Whenever you want to deal with issues that is uh, happening in, in the world, you have to know that script, all these scriptures that you are going to use, they are God, uh, God's initiative, they are God-influenced, uh, which means they carry uh, heavy authority, they carry uh, the great impact uh, on, on them, and you have to take them serious, and you have to to always use them. And he also stated out that uh, we have to use these scriptures whenever we are teaching. 
sometimes when we teach as Christians, sometimes as we, when we teach as preachers, we tend not to use the Bible. We tend to use our own minds. We tend to use what we think. We tend to use like culture and traditions and all this stuff. But we are ministers. Paul uh, is telling Timoth, uh, one of our brother here, is saying, whenever we are teaching, Whenever, wherever you are, you might be at work and you might be uh, having uh, a discussion with your friends, you might be at school, you might, wherever you are, you are, you are teaching, trying to teach, go back to the Bible and see what the scriptures say. Because that's how um, Paul said here is, all these scriptures that you, you, you have learned from, uh, from infantry, you have uh, also acquire wisdom and you have attained your salvation and you've been baptized. They are useful whenever you want to teach. They are useful whenever you want to rebuke. When They are useful whenever uh, you want to correct and train. Whenever there is training, use these scriptures. And he said, in righteousness. If we keep on reading, uh, he talks about uh, so that we may be thoroughly equipped for the work of God. But my message and my challenge today, brothers and sisters, whether you are a minister or you are not a minister, but as long as you are a Christian, as long we are in a Christian community, as long as you believe in the word, as long you believe in Jesus Christ, as long you, you go to church, you have to bear in mind that scriptures are God's breath and they are useful for teaching. Whenever you feel like you want to teach, whenever you feel like you want to rebuke something that uh, go wrong. I know we are in, 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 a, in a bad situation that we are in now. But as a Christian, we should not go into the world and, uh, into the world and start to use uh, constitution, start to use all this other stuff. We have to use the Bible to try to make the world understand what does God say about anything that is happening uh, nowadays, anything that's uh, happening in the world. People are in a panic. We have to use scriptures to teach. We have to use uh, scriptures to sympathize with the world. We have to use the, uh, the word of God also to correct some of the misunderstanding. A lot of people, they have too many questions and also they, uh, there is a lot of uh, false teaching that is going in the world. So we have to use the scriptures uh, in righteousness. We have to use the scriptures to rebuke. We have to use the scriptures also to teach so that we may be fully equipped in everything that we might encounter as Christians. Brothers and sisters, I really thank you for uh, listening today. Uh, keep on reading the word. Keep on using the word whenever you are. Go back to the word and see what the word says. We should not use our carnal minds to do what we want uh, or to rebuke or uh, to teach or, or to correct something. If you, are a if you are a Christian member, please try your best by using these scriptures because they have godly influence. They have God in it. They are inspired. They are powerful. They give you, me and, uh, you and me strength to teach, to correct, and to rebuke. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.